Hello, uh, my name is Mohammed Manarul Islam and I am a software engineer by profession and I'm also a hardcore programmer by passion. Um, this is going to be my first public YouTube video and one of the reasons I wanted to make this video is because um, I thought um, whatever experience and uh, work I have done so far and the practices that I have been doing in the last uh, 20 plus years or so. I would like to share this uh, with the rest of the world of course with the best of my abilities and with my uh, you know humble experiences that I had so far. So basically uh, my day-to-day -day job is to build uh, stable user-friendly secure web-based information systems so where we build applications for our um, customers so it, without going through too much details, uh, you know, deep down details, talk about project management or uh, all details about all the different types of process people use, whether it's waterfall or agile and all the other, uh, you know, good stuff out there. But I'm just going to uh, describe what I uh, what I typically um, go through in my mind, um, and you know, and that I've been uh, practicing so far uh, when I develop any software. So there is first thing that I uh, pay a lot of attention is uh, of course attention to details and that is probably I guess at the nature of all programmers do is gather all information possible that I can you know uh, this gathering information could be your interacting with your business analyst it can also be you're interacting with your manager trying to find out more about what they're you know to he or she's trying to expect or what the actual customer is trying to expect so the very first thing is, uh, I like to understand what is the customer requirements. But in my humble opinion, a customer could be a business analyst, a customer could be an end customer, a customer could be my manager as well, uh, trying to find out exactly what uh, he or she wants. So that is actually, in my humble opinion, it's a, one of the toughest not to crack because uh, you are trying to find out uh, what they really meant, not necessarily what they're saying. So you, you have to literally pick their brain and ask the right questions to find out what are they trying to do. So that is the very first thing that I um, pay attention to. Uh, when, and then the next thing I try to find out is what is the expected delivery date, when they're going to uh, want this, this system or maybe a piece of the system. The experience that I had, what I look for or what I actually pay attention to. So I try to find out when is the delivery date and that is extremely important for me because that pretty much drives my entire development schedule. Um, whether I'm working with the team or I'm working by myself or leading a team, uh, all depends on that. Then the third thing that matters to me is I try to find out, okay, you got A, B, C, D, F, G, H, you know, all these different features that you want in your software. What's the most important um, thing that you have? Uh, that you really want and that you gotta have and that is very important because if you have 15 different you know tasks that you have to do a month uh, you probably have very little time and some of those some of those tasks could be extremely hard or uh, time-consuming so you need to find out exactly which one to pick up first or can you even pick that up first without doing the other one so that also is very important to me um, and that's one other thing I also try to find out before I even you know do anything. And again, sometimes it's not always easy to get all the answers, but you do your best. Based on all of these, if I have a good understanding of kind of what I'm dealing with, what that drives actually what uh, base technology stack I'm going to use. Typically, most of the applications I uh, build is web-based, but of course, uh, this uh, applies to any other applications that I also worked on, whether it's Android or standalone or uh, you know any GUI application. All of the above uh, will literally drive what we're going to use. Um, so it's very important that you go uh, try to understand you know what's going on with the delivery date, the requirements and exactly what are the key pieces of the feature of the software that the customer is looking for. So you can actually deliver that first and then work on the rest of them. 
All right, so now having said that, let's uh, take an example. Let's say right now uh, there's pandemic going on, so a lot of companies probably going to try to come up with some kind of system where they can track their um, employee, whether they're vaccinated or not, because based on that, they may want to open their uh, workplace or, you know. So let's talk about a, a sample system uh, called Employee uh, Vaccination Management System. Now, if someone tells me that they don't need to build something like this, then of course I ask all those questions that I mentioned in my previous um, slide. I need to also find out what the goal is, you know, based on what I understood. So here in this software, let's say the goal is, the first thing is I have to come up with some kind of secure portal where there will be two types of users, administrators and employees. Uh, so administrator will try to, you know, administer the data and all the things that the the software is going to present and employees are also going to be able to log in but they have some limited abilities limited access and let's say they also wanted to manage the employee information after logging in they also wanted to manage the vaccine information then they also wanted to manage the user account of course obvious and CEOs wanted to have some kind of dashboard that kind of tells them that uh, what's going on with their uh, vaccination summary for their entire uh, company so that's probably another thing they want so these are like one of some basic things and again um, so once I understand this is what they want then I have some possible um, solutions that can come in my head which is the technology stack um, after I get all the answers so let's say solution one I think about for database I can use a MongoDB for our application servers we can use a node.js and then client share let's say react.js the solution to I can come up with something like um, post postgres sql and it could be in the middle chair I could use a php lamp stack uh, with apache web server and the client I can use an angular and again there could be a lot of other solutions but I just kind of put this uh, three since I have limited space and so the third solution is I have a mysql database and middle chair I will have um, Tomcat, you know, JEE, and it will be a Java based solution. So, and for client, I'm going to use Timeleaf, which is kind of like a pretty cool technology that, that you can use nowadays too. Now, let's say I did all of my brainstorming and talking and knowing uh, the time timeline and knowing the features that they want, I chose solution number three. And so that's what I'm going to talk about right now. And I'll actually um, go into the details if you. Um, care to follow me uh, my uh, subsequent videos you will get to see how I build the systems um, uh, slowly uh, but surely uh, with stability uh, with security and very good us usability all right so I just put this in here we'll always have the JavaScript HTML and the and the style sheets no matter which solution you go to so it's always going to be given and so these are my technology stacks that actually uh, I'm going to use so that's the next step on my development process that I typically follow that kind of lists um, everything and of course this may change as we go along depending on what works what doesn't work but you know if you already build some systems uh, based on that experience um, I suppose you could uh, confidently pick some of the technology and versions so I'm going to use MySQL this is the exact version and Workbench for actually uh, manipulating any SQL if I have to, you know, do some uh, trial and error type thing, then I'm going to use OpenJDK uh, 16, which is the latest and greatest that just came out uh, last month, actually. And I'm going to use OpenJDK because I don't want to get into licensing issues with Oracle because I, I can use the standard JDK after um, JDK 8, I think. Then I'm going to use Spring Boot. This is the version. I'm going to use Spring, and then I'm going to use Spring Security, which will take care of my authentication or will help me. Uh, with the authentication system and then hibernate for my database uh, backend uh, that's that uh, the Java will interact with timely for our um, front end and I may need to use some library for chart so I'm going to use Jeffrey chart for Java it's a very popular library and of course I'm going to have to use a lot of um, JavaScript uh, or CSS and I'm going to use one of these built-in popular ones uh, that is out there that we can use and also I'm gonna 
add some little icing on the cake of responsive voice so that kind of the uh, site will speak to the CEO more or less and then I just just in general of course we have to use HTML5 CSS JavaScript so it's just pretty much uh, there are a lot of the stuff that's probably going to go in there in the dependencies but these are kind of like the higher level uh, list of technologies that I could see that I'm going to use on my solution and again as I said if you follow my uh, channel and if you like my videos um, uh, please watch the subsequent videos to learn exactly how I build this uh, step by step and also if you like my videos subscribe and hit the bell icon um, to get notification uh, last but not the least uh, we I'm going to use the Eclipse IDE uh, that is probably uh, one of the good ones out there to build web-based applications and this is the latest one out there okay now time for the system now of course I I'm going to show exactly what we're going to build um, eventually the kind of like the final product so let's get to the demo okay so this is how the first page will look like of course it has to be a secure web portal so someone has to you know log in with the authentication in order to get to the actual information so let's say I'm going to log in as the administrator who has access to a lot of things actually and the first thing I should see is it is a nice dashboard Welcome Mohammed Manirul Islam. Today is Friday, April 2nd, 2021 3 p.m. As of now, 55% of our employees are not vaccinated yet for COVID-19. Okay, so this is uh, actually it is the data that you see is real-time data. Uh, and I just added the something called responsive voice uh, to basically... Uh, be more informative and also be uh, like accessible compliant uh, and it's as you could see that whenever someone logs in something needs to be very useful uh, to the uh, to the person that's logging in. so this is uh, in a in a nutshell they can see exactly what's going on with their vaccination um, system so there's about 55 percent of their employee are not vaccinated yet and the rest of them is showing up you know, what, va what vaccine they took actually so that is what this chart is for now uh, the way this thing is built is when I I can click on any of the slices and go to the data actually so obviously I may want to see you know who's not vaccinated yet so if I click on this what happens is it will actually take me to the list of employees with their information and whether they're vaccinated or not or let's say that was the requirement that Whoever is vaccinated, that's great. You know, I'm more interested in this in this slices to see what type of vaccine they got. So when I click on these slices, that's going to take me to the vaccine about that vaccine information. Okay, and then this is a standard menu that you have at the top. So here, this is the home, and this is when I click on this, it will take me to the list of employees and what and the vaccination. Then I have an administration menu here where I can go look at other different things. Like I can look at go look at the vaccine. The different types of vaccines so COVID-19 is you know is the one that is probably everyone interested in right now but you could configure this system to uh, track or Ebola or vaccines as well and this is the user management that that uh, they wanted that here administrator will come and register the employee so the employee can log in and also look at certain things and of course here's a change the password you know something simple for a user profile and then log out all right, let's start with the employee vaccine. So this is nothing but list of employees and also what vaccine they took. And of course, you can, as you can see, you can download the data as you wish. And here, if I need to find out about any anyone, I can just search, and then it will take me to the right person. Uh, let me see if I'm there. Yes, there you go. I'm there. I'm actually kind of there twice uh, because I kind of added some sample data for myself uh, the other thing that you could do here is of course as you, you can maintain this data um, I can just change anyone's information since I'm the administrator 
and here I could say that this person had the first vaccine and these are the different types of vaccine that's there that okay so one thing you can notice that of course I'm showing salary because uh, I'm logged in as kind of like this the CEO of the company um, so I get to see everyone you know who is doing what but typically if an employer logs in they will not be seeing this uh, certain information that are confidential so that's also part of the system that uh, we have to build and we have to be conscious about and then if I go to vaccine that will show me all the list of vaccines and I actually got this information from uh, this is a, a real time information of uh, which country has what type of vaccine or what type of vaccine is available actually so I can if I type something like okay let's say what is Saudi Arabia having so Saudi Arabia having this vaccine right here so you can also search that as well and uh, and same thing you can maintain you can add edit and delete you know that information and the, and each of the vaccines of course tied with the vaccine type so of course, obviously this is a COVID uh, this is a COVID-19 type so that's what this, this category is about okay so the purpose of coming back to this page is uh, to show you now so if I click on this chunk it will take me to the employee vaccination uh, module and here I could literally sort by saying that by date etc or I can of course export the whole data in an Excel and sort it there too so and here this copies the data to clipboard so it's a very capable system but one thing that of course um, let's step back and the purpose of this series of video that I'm gonna make is to show you what to consider as a as a developer when you build a stable system and also a user-friendly system that is absolutely um, secure nowadays cyber security is extremely important. So that's also another thing we have to uh, consider and again I am not claiming I'm the expert but what I will say is um, I will provide what I and what I actually consider when developing a software like this so uh, please subscribe if you like the video and and follow to build a system like this thank you I hope I see you soon